me um how did you come up with um, the largest display of origami stars who made it what's yes. the you know the collaboration between the group of companies i think lovin can start with yes. the historical value yes. and then i'll put in the yeah. the works <laughs> I, I think more so we were looking for a story that could tie in the big picture and i think the stars would very well fit manila uh, as a whole because this was a staging ground of the Manila Acapulco trade and also we are known for uh, ancient Filipinos were known mm -hmm. for traveling on ancient boats called Balangay yeah. and these journeys use only the stars as a navigation mm -hmm. point and I think the stars would be a very beautiful and meaningful story for us because I think it's something that ties us together connects our islands and even connects us Filipinos into the Pacific uh, and even as far as Madagascar we're known to travel as far as uh, the remote corners of the world since ancient times even until now it's a story of uh, of, a of the filipino as, as as a whole you know so i think by being guided by stars i think it's deeply meaningful because that was how we connected to the world the manila acapulco galleon trade was the first instance of world globalization mm -hmm. and it's it, it connected asia to South America, North America with mm -hmm. uh, with Mexico, uh, well the Americas, and then to Spain. So that connected the globe all together on that instance and we're part of that and Manila was a staging ground of that as well. Right. So I think this is very beautiful and also we wanted to create something also that would connect our community. Mm -hmm. So this is so much fun because we uh, taught our families, mm -hmm. our guests, we had folding parties, we're yes. folding parties. Okay. It's something that's very simple but very beautiful and also we wanted to be able to do something su that's sustainable so mm -hmm. we recycled a lot of our papers. Yes. Okay. From, so those majority of the paper that we use for this uh, is recycled mm -hmm. and after this event those stars are going to be brought out and we mm -hmm. have a collaboration with Junk Knot and they're going to recycle it further and turn those stars into furniture. Wow. that we can use for 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 the hotel so i think that circular you know like uh, story that goes on with that i think it's very beautiful and the idea of just bonding all together with uh, our colleagues mm -hmm. people from our community we basically involved quite a lot of our neighbors as well to fold the stars and i think that's just a beautiful way to connect together which is the very essence of life connecting wow. the community so picking up from there, so one of the five pillars of the life brand is community. So for us to be able to put it together, just to share with you, I just have barely 30 people working in this property, so it's impossible for us to really almost you know, match the, the standing uh, numbers of, of Guinea. So we put together everyone. We have a total of 17 operating properties um, in the Philippines, and everyone did a contribution. So Lovin was mentioning earlier, we had origami parties for staffs and for guests. So we have origami Fridays. So my HR is telling me how come all of the people are you know, um, convening in a, in a space in their properties and uh, putting all of these together. We even had rewards program for the staffs um, to, to really encourage them to, to participate. And more so, uh, we tied up with our CSR partner. Uh, Gawad Kalinga from Batangas. ASCOT has been supporting them for the last decade. So all of the children during their school break, they did origami stars and contributed 12,000 stars with us. And we visited them, handed them school um, items in preparation for the opening of the classes. And more so, our owning company, Toro Lorenzo Development Corporation, staged and held um, an origami party in 14 of their properties. Um, in the Philippines, they contributed 30,000 stars wow. out of that activity. When did so, you start doing that folding activity and how long did it take for you to very finish? Very straightforward, barely a month. Wow. Barely a month. Yeah, so we were doing briefings, we are folding origami stars, we talked to guests, and we, you know, we, it's even actually part of our welcome amenities okay. in the room. So there's like a QR code instructional video that, uh, you know, will be more than happy to have you part of the history.